नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन दिल्ली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो इन टूडेज दिल्ली वेदर ब्रीफिंग वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द हीट वेव कंडीशन ओवर ईस्ट इंडिया देन देन अबाउट द डिप्रेशन येस्टरडेज डिप्रेशन ओवर ईस्ट राजस्थान एंड देन अबाउट द मानसून एडवांसमेंट एंड at at last we will talk about uh, the extremely heavy rainfall going over the northeast india so first of all we will talk about the uh, uh, heat wave conditions going on over the country uh, eastern parts of the country and uh, uh, northeast peninsular india so as as can be seen here that heat wave to severe heat wave conditions have been observed yesterday again uh, over over uh, uh, east up uh, southern parts of bihar jharkhand uh uh western parts of gangetic west bengal uh, western parts of east madhya pradesh eastern eastern vidarbha uh, chatisgarh uh, telangana and and uh, coastal andhra pradesh and interior parts of odisha so as we can see over here that uh, in the eastern parts of the country the temperatures are uh, uh, by about 5 to 8 degrees above normal whereas over the over the western parts of the country the temperatures are uh 5 to 8 degree below normal and this has happened due to the landfall of the uh, cyclonic storm beeper joy over gujarat gujarat and its uh, subsequent movement of its remnant across gujarat and rajasthan uh, during past 5 to 6 days but the good news is that this heat wave conditions uh, uh, yesterday's heat wave conditions is going to is going to abate uh, from tomorrow uh and and today we will see heat wave conditions only over a very confined region and and the heat wave severity of the heat wave is very likely to diminish from today and tomorrow we will be only receiving uh, the heat wave conditions only in isolated pockets over this region so today uh, again there would be heat wave but the severity would be lessened over eastern parts of up over southern parts of bihar over eastern parts of east madhya pradesh over jharkhand over chatisgarh over uh, 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 interior parts of odisha and over uh, eastern vidarbha and telangana and uh, over gangetic west bengal over the uh, most parts of odisha and over most parts of north coastal andhra pradesh which were uh, uh, reporting severe heat wave conditions since last uh, 7 to 10 days are very likely to uh, uh, not report any heat wave conditions because heavy rainfall at isolated places has occurred over these areas and tomorrow again as we discussed the heat wave conditions would be there tomorrow again over uh, east up over बिहार छत्तीसगढ़ पार्ट्स ऑफ झारखंड पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया उड़ीसा एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ विदर्भा बट दिस हीट वेव वुड देयर वुड नॉट बी सीवियर इंटेंसिटी वुड नॉट बी सीवियर इट विल बी ओनली आइसोलेटेड हीट वेव एट जस्ट वन टू थ्री स्टेशन एंड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जून द हीट वेव वुड बी कंप्लीटली डिमिनिस्ड कंप्लीटली फेडेड आउट फ्रॉम द इंडियन रीजन now we talk about the yesterday's depression uh, the the yesterday's depression has today weakened into a well marked low pressure area over northeast rajasthan and neighborhood and this well marked low pressure area is very likely to weaken further by tomorrow and uh, and uh, and uh, become a well marked low pressure area and under the influence of this uh, well marked low pressure area today there is likelihood of uh, uh, likelihood of more than 20 cm rainfall extremely heavy rainfall over sawai madhopur and uh, sawai madhopur and bundi districts of east rajasthan and heavy to very heavy rainfall 11 to 20 cm rainfall over the districts of karoli tonk bhilwada kota and baran and isolated heavy rainfall is likely to over jaipur ajmer and chittorgarh and if we talk about tomorrow then over uh, rajasthan these districts of sawai madhopur baran and kota may receive tomorrow 11 to 20 cm rainfall and the adjoining districts uh, 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 across uh, uh, right from karoli up to up to jhalawad may receive isolated heavy rainfall and similar is the case for uh, 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 northwest mp as well uh, today there is likelihood of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall 11 to 20 cm rainfall over the districts of murena bhind uh, Sh- uh, shivpur gwalior uh, gwalior datia and then uh, shivpuri and 
and uh, after that guna and ashok nagar and tomorrow these uh, similar districts may receive uh, isolated extremely heavy falls as well because the system uh, the velma globe area would be moving east north east was during next 24 hours and uh, this heavy rainfall scenario for northwest mp would even continue for uh, for 21st june as well uh, although the extremely heavy falls would be unlikely and only isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall would be likely over murana bhind uh, uh, murana bhind and after that uh, your uh, this uh, uh, district of gwalior datia uh, gwalior datia shivpuri and uh, and guna ashok nagar and then the districts of uh, vidisha and raisen now uh, if we talk about the monsoon coverage over the country so the the southwest monsoon today has uh, has advanced over some more parts of uh, karnataka some more parts of uh, uh, andhra pradesh and uh, some more uh, uh, some some parts of gangetic west bengal some parts of jharkhand some parts of bihar and has covered entire uh, sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and the northern limit of southwest monsoon is today passing through uh, Ratnagiri, Ratnagiri, Raichur, Kavali, Ratnagiri, Raichur, Kavali, Canning of uh, Gangetic West Bengal, Sri Niketan of Gangetic West Bengal and Dumka of Jharkhand and, and uh, by looking into the next uh, rainfall, upcoming rainfall scenario as suggested by the different uh, numerical uh, uh, weather prediction models and the consensus derived from those models that uh, this uh, 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 southwest monsoon is very likely to uh, cover some some more parts of Karnataka, some more parts of Andhra Pradesh, uh, some more parts of Gangetic West Bengal, some more parts of Jharkhand, Bihar and some parts of Odisha and some past parts of East Uttar Pradesh during next two to three days. Now we we uh, uh, now we discuss about the uh, 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 current uh, scenario over over the uh, extremely heavy rainfall uh, going on over our uh, uh, northeast India. So uh, over Assam and Meghalaya there is a likelihood of isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall along with extremely heavy fall today and tomorrow as well and uh, uh, thereafter this would reduce into isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall tomorrow there is a red color for assam and meghalaya especially meghalaya and uh, uh, eastern parts of uh, western parts of assam and tomorrow there is orange color and thereafter yellow color is there because the rainfall intensity would uh, decrease drastically into uh, isolated heavy rainfall or at most isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and for sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim, we are uh, expecting uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall at uh, some places, at scattered uh, places, and uh, uh, extremely heavy falls at isolated places uh, straight uh, next three days, uh, uh, right from uh, today up to 21st of June, and thereafter it would decrease. And that's why uh, red color is there for sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim for next three days, and thereafter orange color, and uh, further there is uh, uh, yellow color for the region. And uh, also today uh, isolated heavy rainfall is likely over uh, Gangetic West Bengal and thereafter as we discussed that the southwest monsoon would cover during next two to three days. Uh, some more parts of Gangetic West Bengal, some more parts of Bihar, some more parts of uh, Jharkhand, some parts of Odisha and uh, most importantly some parts of uh, uh, East UP as well. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.